there's a new feature in Excel 2013 called Power View, and I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to one thing that it can do that's really rather cool. I'm just starting to dig into it myself, but uh, now for the very first time in Excel 2013, we can actually map the data we have against a, a world map or a state map, those sorts of things. Let me go ahead and show you how this is done. I'm going to take this data right here that I would normally turn into a pivot table or something else along those same lines, go up to the top of my screen and find the Insert tab, and on the Insert ribbon that shows up about halfway across, I'm going to see the Power View Report button. So if I choose Power View Report, it'll take just a few seconds for it to fire up this Power View option. And now what I want to be able to do is take this normal data that I see in a table here, and instead of having it as a table format, I'm going to instead decide to have it in map format. So I'm just expanding its size a little bit, going to the top of the screen and clicking on map. Now, originally, it's going to have a variety of different maps for each of the different people. And that's not really what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do now is now that I'm creating maps for this data, I'm going to go over to the right-hand side of the screen and customize exactly how this works. So in the locations field, I'm not going to use state, but rather instead I'm going to use city. And then secondly, I'm going to go to each of these vertical multiples and just remove them. Now the next thing that I'll do is I'll determine the size of the dots that are going to go onto this map. I want to go ahead and create different size dots based off the number of people who are working in each of these different offices. So what I'll do is I'll come over here, grab something like employee ID that it will count for me, and I'll drag that to the size box, and when I let go, as you can see it zooms in on the map and allows me to see different size dots for each of the different places where we have offices. So it's counting up each of these different uh, items and giving us different colors for each of the different cities. Isn't that really cool? Now I'm going to take it one step further and I'm going to scroll down here to where it says color. Now currently it's going to use a different color for every office and that's interesting. But let's say that you wanted to see how many of each different department were working at each of these different offices. I'm going to go to the color drop down menu and choose remove field. As you can see they go back to just all being blue dots. And lastly I'm going to come up here and grab the department column and drag it into the color box. <clears throat> by doing this I can see by the orange and blue and red and green items exactly how many of each different type of employee are working at each of the different offices and based off the overall size of these different dots exactly how many employees are working in each of these different locations. And that's just one of the really great things that you can do with the Power View report.